Welcome! In this video, I will show you how to set up the Chine S1 LiDAR scanner and the GNSS receiver for RTK. We will also be mounting the scanner on this backpack as well as the GNSS receiver. I will take you through the steps of how to connect the scanner, link it with the GNSS receiver and how to configure the RTK setting. From there, we will collect some data using the scanner with RTK integration. Let's now go through the steps. First thing first, we'll take the logger of the scanner, we'll put it on the backpack. Okay, put it down firmly, and then depress the bracket to put it down. Now we're going to attach the cable. This cable links the logger as well as the scanner. So now with the scanner, we have replaced the normal bracket with the quick release bracket. So with this, you release it. From there, you can now mount it on the backpack. We will now connect the logger and the scanner. Also make sure that the cable is stored away. You can do this behind the backpack. Okay, so now we're going to attach the RTK or GNSS unit on the backpack. And this is done. Just make sure that the serial port at the bottom is not in the way of any parts and can be easily accessed. Now we attach the cable on the external port on the GNSS receiver. Make sure to align the red with the red. Okay, after this, we plug in the USB port on the logger. Now that we have connected all the units, we can now power them on. We can power on the GNSS receiver, and we can also power on the scanner. Let's now configure the RTK settings on the Trion Survey app. We'll create a project. Select a coordinate system, go to settings, select communication, connect to the GNSS receiver, Connection succeeded. and we will now select an entry profile Loading. that we have already created, select apply, Mobile station handbook network. select ok, and now we just wait for a fix. Now that we have a fix, we can proceed with going to collect RTK scan data. It is important to remember, after the scanner has initialized for the first 30 seconds, you can walk for a minute, and on this minute, you will walk a figure S. This allows the IMU on the scanner and the RTK to sync. After this minute is completed, this will be at 1 minute 30 seconds. You can continue to walk normally. We have now successfully collected our data. We are now going to download it and process it.